Hello, and welcome to part three of the Media Composer Fast Start series. It's time to fix all the edits that nagged us while building the rough cut in part two. So let's head back to Media Composer. Now, every time you launch Media Composer, you'll always return to the Select Project window. From here, you can double click the project you want to work on. Also, you'll find you can personalize the interface and editing experience. To do this, we'll go to File and Settings. Let's look at the User tab. Of all these settings, some key ones to explore are Bin, Composer, Interface, Keyboard, and Timeline. To change a setting, double click it and then make adjustments. I just added a second row of buttons and data to the Composer window. Okay, let's refine our stories. To start, we'll save what we have so far. So we can right click the record monitor and choose duplicate. Then choose our sequences bin. Then name our copy. By the way, we can close any bins we're not using by clicking this X in the bins tab. Since our last session, I roughed up our rough cut to create examples that will be easier for you to see. And I started adding markers so I can quickly find these. You can flag changes you wanna to make to your sequence by using the marker button here in the record monitor. So let's go to our first marker. Move to beginning a montage. To rearrange segments, we'll use a segment tool. The yellow extracts splice in specifically. If it's not active, we can hold Alt or Option and click this until it turns yellow. Then to see better, we can press Control or Command right bracket to zoom in. Then click and drag the segment to its new location. Hold Command or Control to snap it in place. And drop. Now the drone footage establishes our location. Let's locate our next marker. Extract this. That means we want to remove this and have all the clips to the right move left so we don't end up with a gap. Whenever we perform an edit that causes segments to move in the timeline, we need to make sure all our on-camera shots like this one stay in sync. So we can activate sync locks for V1 and A1 while we make changes to the sequence. Then with just record side V1 active, we can use the mark clip button to quickly set it in and out on just this segment. Then we'll click this extract button. The segment and filler audio below were deleted and the segments to the right shifted left and stayed in sync. Let's go to our next marker. Replace this with something that complements the final shot. So that means finding something that complements this shot. So with just the record side V1 active, we can click Mark Clip again or press the T key, then locate the replacement. Then the content we want to use and click overwrite. From the same position. Our revisions are off to a solid start, so I'm going to pause the recording so I can locate and mark our next set of changes. Now we're going to use trim tools to clean up our cuts and finesse the pacing of our story. If we right click the trim tool, we'll see two tools, red overwrite trim and yellow ripple trim. We're gonna use both, so we'll leave both selected. And for now, we can deselect the segment tool. 
and we'll activate link selection toggle for trimming the segments with both video and audio. We're ready to preview our first fix. So let's press Control or Command right bracket to zoom in a bit. By the way, if the position indicator is parked on a marker, you can press the delete or backspace key to remove it. So our first change is to cut to the shot as Emilio opens the door. Let's preview this. So we want to shorten the beginning of this shot. So we'll use ripple trim. We'll position the cursor near the bottom left edge of this clip and click. Notice both V1 and A1 have trim rollers. That's because sync locks are still active. We'll leave them active so our audio and video stay in sync. Now we'll drag the roller to the right until we see Emilio grab the handle. When we click and edit with a trim tool, Media Composer enters trim mode. The Composer window now shows the last frame of the shot before the cut and the first frame of the next shot. And the play button becomes a play loop button. If we press this or the space bar, Media Composer plays the content around our selected cut. That trim worked. Now we can click the timecode track or ruler to exit trim mode and find our next fix. So we're going to remove some extra words from the end of this shot. All right, I'm loading him. So we can click near the lower right edge of this segment and drag to the left. Leg trapped here, I'm gonna kick it over, all right? Okay, I trimmed too far. Let's use these trim buttons to tweak this. If I were going to click and drag the trim roller, I'd drag to the right. So we'll use a right-facing trim button. This lengthened the shot by eight frames. Trapped here, I'm gonna kick it over, all right? It's still cut off a bit. So let's click the single frame trim button a couple times. Trapped here, I'm gonna kick it over, all right? That's better. Our next fix is right here. Looks like part of the word when is missing. It comes down to teaching. And it is. Since this audio starts under a gym shot, we'll use the overwrite trim tool to maintain sync. And we'll turn off the link selection toggle. Let's zoom in a bit more. Then we'll click the upper left edge of this audio segment and drag left. Let's press the space bar to review our trim. Guys, was when it comes down to teaching. Now there's extra sound there. So we can use a right facing trim button to fix that. When it comes down to teaching, there's still a little something there. So let's trim one more frame. When it comes down to teaching. That fixed it. Let's go on to our next one. So we're going to end the shot after the word champion. Let's preview this. World champion, especially. Now this audio ends under a cinematic shot. So we'll use overwrite trim again. This time we'll click the upper right edge and drag to the left. Is to become a black belt world champion. That fixed it. Now there's lots of edits to fix in my sequence with the ripple and overwrite trim tools. So I'm going to pause the recording again to make those changes. So I finished cleaning up the content and pacing for the Scramble King. Treat everybody like, you know, they're a part of the family, make them feel comfortable, make them feel welcome. If you watch the final edit included with the practice materials for this series, that's essentially how this sequence plays out. So we're ready to polish it. And I flagged our next examples. Let's go to the first one.
and zoom in. We want to stay on the shot a bit longer. Let's adjust this cut so the shot changes when Emilio says point. So at this stage, we don't want segments to move in the timeline. So we'll hover over the edit point until we see this white trim icon. When we click, we enter dual roller trim mode as shown by these two pink rollers. Then we can drag this cut to the right so the gym shot gets longer while the interview's video becomes shorter. Let's review the trim. Nice with the movement, so you have to be very on point with the positioning. The cut now happens during the word point. Essentially, we can use dual roller trim to tweak when each cut in the sequence happens. Because it sharpened up my techniques. And if you don't like a change, you can press Control or Command Z on your keyboard to undo your last step or steps. Let's look at one more polishing technique. So we want to have this frame of video with the marker line up with a clap in the music. Let's preview this. Flat, he wins. When I first came in. Right now, Emilio and Ray clap before the clap in the music. Now to line these up, we'll park the position indicator on the music's clap. Then with only V1 selected, we'll use the trim keys on the keyboard. The period key in this case to adjust the content until we see the marker appear in the record monitor. When I first came into this. That worked. Now you can align any action in a shot to an audio cue. With that, we've reached the end of part three. Just a quick note that if you're interested in cutting and refining a story for the broadcast journalism genre, we included a script and voiceover with the practice materials. In the next video, we'll adjust our audio. In the meantime, thanks for joining this session and I'll see you in part four.